In today's video, I'm going to show you my top five contact sensor ideas for your smart home. A lot of people use contact sensors simply for home safety. So if a window or a door is open when the contact sensor is active, an alarm will sound to let you know that there's a threat and hopefully scare off any intruders. But contact sensors can be used for so much more than this as they trigger routines and therefore can improve your smart home. Make sure you stay tuned for number one as this one could really save you money. So let's get to the top five. Number five. So number five is a loft hatch. And this could be connecting the contact sensor inside of your loft hatch so that when you open the contact sensor, that sends a routine to a smart bulb in your loft, which would then switch the light on. This just makes life a lot easier. It means that when you're going up the ladders to the loft hatch, you're not worried about trying to find a switch. You're just able to focus on what you're actually doing and you don't need to worry about that light it's only going to come on when the loft hatch is open and there's never the worry that you've accidentally left the switch on and the light stayed on in the loft because once that loft hatch is closed and the contact sensor triggers closed the light will then switch off this just makes things more convenient definitely worth doing if you have a contact sensor and a smart bulb is all you require for this routine and i just think that this is a really practical use for the contact sensor number four contact sensors could be used on kitchen cupboards now this could be an extra step for child safety. So if you've got child locks on your kitchen cupboards, in case your kids manage to bypass the child lock, then you have that extra safety of the contact sensor, which would send you an alert to your phone or start playing an alarm. And this would be, for example, if you had a child lock on your medicine cabinet or on your drinks cabinet, whichever one you obviously don't want the kids getting near. I would always recommend personally just to have a child safety lock. I wouldn't put this in place of one. But I do think that this could be an added step just to ensure that if they do get past one, then you do have this as a backup. And because of the price you can pick these contact sensors up at, it's definitely worth doing. I will leave a link in the description for the contact sensor that I use. I use a Zigbee contact sensor with my Amazon Echo 4th Gen Zigbee Hub. But I will also leave a link for a Wi-Fi option if that's your preference. Number three. So for number three, it's a mailbox. You could add a contact sensor to this and make your mailbox smart. So you could receive notifications to your phone to let you know that the mailbox has been opened and therefore you now have mail to collect. It could also do a voice message throughout your home on your Echo or whatever your ecosystem is. So for the mailbox, what you do is you'd have the contact sensor inside the door, the main unit stuck inside the mailbox, and then the smaller contact strip would be on the actual door of the mailbox. So then you'd be able to get routines when it's opened or when it's closed, whichever you prefer. I think this is quite a fun feature. Also, it's a good reminder to get your mail if you are someone who sometimes forgets it. And there's no need to check it unnecessarily, so it saves you time in that way as well. The one thing I would recommend is that if you are going to get a contact sensor for your mailbox is to look at the waterproof rating before you buy it. Just to make sure that it's going to cope well being outdoors. If you are in the UK like myself, then you could use this on your letterbox on your front door. Just have the contact sensor inside the front door with the smaller contact strip on the back of the letterbox. So when the letterbox is opened, that will then recognize as closed and you are able to then trigger routines off that. Number two, as I said earlier, a lot of people use contact sensors as an alarm on external doors and windows. But what about internal doors? For example, you could put a contact sensor on your bedroom door. And depending on what time you set your alarm for the morning, you could set this contact sensor to only activate, say, 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after to give yourself an hour if sometimes you get up early or a bit later. And when you open your bedroom door, that could then trigger a routine to turn your coffee machine on. It could also trigger music to start playing. This is a great routine because in the morning, if people are anything like me, they need all the help they can get. And starting your day off with music is just a great routine definitely helps wake me up in the morning, makes me feel more energized, more alert. And especially if you do like your coffee, then this would be a good routine for you. Before we get to number one, if you stuck around till this point of the video, I really appreciate it. If you could please just hit the like and subscribe button, just so more people can get to see this video. Thanks. Number one. So number one is weather monitoring for doors and windows. So as most people have these on their doors and windows anyway, as they're using them as an alarm, you may as well use them for this purpose as well. Which just means that if your windows are open for five or 10 minutes at a time, whichever you prefer, 
then this could trigger a routine to your smart thermostat to lower the temperature so that the thermostat isn't accidentally trying to heat a house while the windows are open. If you don't have a smart thermostat, then one of the things you could do is you could just trigger yourself a routine if these contact sensors are triggered, if the windows or the doors are open for a prolonged period of time, then you could get a notification to your phone to just remind you to manually turn it down as it's very easy to forget. But in the long run, this is a lot more energy efficient and it will save you money. I really hope that you found this video useful. I hope you found it helpful in some way. If you did like this video, then please check out my smart home tour where I show you what smart home devices I have in my home at the moment. Until next time, thank you for watching.